Sometimes we need to add more storage to our virtual machine using VirtualBox 6. Let's see how we do that. So we've selected a virtual machine where we want to add more hard drive space. We will click on Settings. From here, we'll click on Storage. And then we're going to go over to the plus hard drive here where it says Add Hard Disk. If you go to the one to the left, that adds a DVD or optical drive. We don't want that. So we'll click on Add Hard Disk. We can choose an existing disk if we've already got one created. But in this case, we're going to create a new disk. We have several different options. Let's just choose the default VDI, which works best with VirtualBox. And now we have the option for dynamic or fixed. Now, if we choose dynamic, it will expand the drive as we need it. So if we choose, say, 100 gigabytes, it's going to start out with just a few kilobytes. And as we add storage uh, files to it, the storage itself will grow. If we go with the fixed size, it will immediately use that 100 gigabytes, even if we haven't put anything into it. The advantage to the fixed size is that it runs faster because it doesn't need to expand as the drive he adds more storage uh, files. The advantage to the dynamic one is that it doesn't use all the space until you actually need it. So if you never need 100 gigabytes, it won't ever use that much. I'm going to choose dynamic just for this example. Click next. And I'm just going to add one gigabyte just for this particular example. And we'll click create. Now we see our new virtual disk. We see the size is one gigabyte. But right now it's only using two megabytes, so it's not really using much to start out with. Now if this drive is solid state, we'll check this box because that does run at a faster speed. And if it's hot pluggable, such as a USB drive, we would check that. Now neither one of those is true in this case, so I'll leave them both unchecked. And click OK. And now we'll double click on the virtual machine to start it up, and we still have an additional step we have to take. Now that the virtual machine is booted up, we're going to go to Control Panel. So we can go to the Search button and type in Control Panel. And when it comes up, we'll change to the large icons, make it a little bit easier, and click on Administrative Tools. Once Administrative Tools is up, we're going to go to where it says Computer Management. So we'll double-click on that. Now, if you're doing this from a server, you could also do this from Server Manager and just choose the uh, storage option. But most computers will work this way in Windows. Actually, all computers in Windows work this way all the way back to Windows 2000. So we're going to go to where it says Disk Management. And automatically it says, hey, I discovered this new disk. Do you want me to go ahead and initialize it? And we say, yes, we do. And here it is, disk one right here. It has the one gigabyte. Once it's been initialized, it says it's online. If it doesn't show initialize, just right click on it and choose to bring online or initialize. Now that that's done, we're going to right click on the empty space and choose a new simple volume. We'll click next. We'll choose the full amount. You can assign any drive letter that you'd like. By default, it picks the next one that's free. We'll click Next. You can choose a file system, but I recommend NTFS for most cases, and a quick format. And Finish. Now we see the drive is turning blue, and we see it's assigned to the E drive. So if we go to File Explorer and this PC, we can see there it is. There's the E drive has 0.99 gigabytes available, so we can now use that as a storage drive.